Trudeau, uh, President Albert Dorsch, it, it might seem uh, peculiar at first uh, to have the former president of Mongolia right. <laughs> speak on a panel about the future of the European Union. But um, for those who may not be familiar with it, you spent a long time, many years in Ukraine, and as a former president of Mongolia, have met Vladimir Putin, have met President Putin many, many times, over 30 times, I believe, throughout your reign. Um, since we're talking about the future of the European Union and the implications um, to European security, uh, give us an outsider perspective here, somebody who knows Ukraine very well, but also knows President Vladimir Putin very well. Uh, thank you very much. You know, this Ukrainian war has a global implication. If there was not Ukrainian war, I think uh, maybe Chinese President Xi Jinping started forceful unification with Taiwan yesterday. I think now Chinese leader weighing in two ways and facing two scenarios. First scenario, if uh, forceful unification of Taiwan with China happens like in the 2014 Crimea, he would have started that process yesterday. But uh, now he sees that it might be like a different scenario, 2022 scenario, like a let's Putin scenario. And he's weighing that. Means that Ukrainian war has a great, greater implication, not only in Europe, then also worldwide, also in Asia. Also, there are other connections, Mongolia, Ukraine. There is only one country between us. Ukraine is a free, uh, democratic country, independent country in uh, Europe. Mongolia is a free, independent, democratic country in Asia. And between us, I told you that uh, one country and uh, means that uh, we are sharing common interest. Also, you know, global implications means that Ukrainian war actually, that uh, front line, Ukrainian war front line is much more wider. It's front line between the free world and authoritarian world. It runs even in Africa, it runs in uh, Asia, it runs everywhere. If uh, Ukraine loses, I think those autocrats will be encouraged. If Ukraine wins, those autocrats will be will uh, discouraged. Now I think uh, you even see that uh, President Xi Jinping is uh, from the latest news. Uh, he is still distancing from the from the Putin and trying to build more connections with the Western countries. It means that Ukraine is fighting not only for Ukraine, but it's uh, fighting for the global faith of the humanity. That's very important. And the other thing, also Mongolia is only democratic and fully functioning democracy between Russia and China since 1990. I think uh, why Putin started the invasion of Ukraine is one of the reasons is that uh, if free Ukraine, if prosperous Ukraine, there in Europe, I think it's going to be a bad example for Russia. I know that uh, one day this war will end, and one day we will see more liberal Russia. If Russia became more liberal, more freedom-minded, if in Russia there are some, some kind of democratic development, I think Ukraine will have greater impact from the European side. Mongolia will have much more greater impact from the Eastern side, from the Asian side. And uh, Ukraine will uh, liberate Russia from the dictatorship, from the European side. Mongolia will liberate, we will have influence on Russia from the Asian side. Means that even though there are countries are small, but those, those examples are, uh, examples of uh, freedom is greater. And because of that, I think this uh, Ukrainian war, uh, war has uh, big, big implications. And now this war is getting, having a more uglier pace, you know. Now they are really directly targeting the, those infrastructures and energy, everything, and trying to 
uh, frees Ukrainians uh, to that. And uh, I think we need to help Ukraine. We need to help Ukraine more than any other time, you know, since, since starting the war. And uh, now I'm the, like a member of the Club de Madrid and I'm the newest member of the elders and we are working to raise, to help Ukraine. If, if we are talking here, I think if you can think about that, uh, if you send one generator right. to Ukrainian city, one, one thing to Ukrainian city, that will save thousands of lives. And uh, I hope I saw that in, uh, within the speakers there is Foreign Minister Kuleba is coming. Yeah. And I lived in Ukraine for many years in Western Ukraine, I studied there. I know the spirit of the Ukrainian people. They are really proud people. They are never going to kneel uh, under aggression. And uh, they are showing. And uh, I am really happy that World Policy Conference bringing right. this topic into this, uh, into this light. And, thank and, you very much. Uh, thank you. And